Let's take a look at muscle function during a squat and see what we can see going on with the quads. So if we have our patient do a squat, we can see that the muscles are going to lengthen. So here's your penation of the vastus medialis, penation of lateralis, rectus fem, vastus intermedius is underneath that, and then we have genu articularis. So as he's squatting, the heads of those muscles are going to be more active during different angles, which means they have to hand off to each other. If he's doing a rotational movement, so let's say he's squatting and rotating, now he's going to use less and more of those muscles as they become active and as they become recruited in those angles. Are you taking that into consideration? Do you understand how imperative it is, imperative it is that you understand that muscles function at different angles at different times and if they don't fire on time at that angle during that contraction when they're supposed to be stabilizing or moving the joint that's when you have symptoms that's when you have failure so if you don't know how to individually assess all of these muscles and oh by the way also gastroc soleus tib anterior perineals abductor halicus all of the glute med glute uh, men all of that if you're not taking that into consideration when you're looking at a knee pain patient or an ankle sprain patient, you're missing the boat because you're ignoring that every single muscle has a job at a specific angle. And if it's not facilitated, it won't work.